Peatland can store huge amount of water, which might possibly serve as an alternative domestic water supply. Peat water, on the other hand is of poor quality, having a brownish color, being acidic with a low pH, and containing a high organic content. Therefore, peat water cannot be used directly for humans due to potential health risk. In fact, the direct use of peat water still occurs. Communities around peatlands inevitably have to use peat water in their daily activities due to limited access to clean water. It is also important to note that the water level and peat moisture must be maintained. Dry conditions may lead to the peatland degradation and greater vulnerability to wildfires. Considering those problems, it is important to treat peat water to get clean water, ensuring that people living near peatlands have accessible clean water, while avoiding excessive use and preserving the sustainability of peatlands. Therefore, we propose an idea called peat nut. Integration of peat water treatment system with soybean biocoagulant and smart water management. Peat water treatment begins with the process of collecting water from the peatland. A well will be made to facilitate water collection and separate water from organic waste or peat soil. The collection well will be equipped with a water level sensor and a water quality sensor. The water level depth sensor will determine the action taken to collect peat water. The collection will be stopped before the water table depth reaches 0.4 meters below surface to keep the peat moist and prevent irreversible dry. Meanwhile, the water quality sensor will provide real-time information on pH, turbidity, TDS, and peat color. The sensors will be connected to the internet and can be accessed by officials and the public through their devices. Water from the peatland will be pumped through the OLED pipe which will then undergo a neutralization process. Neutralization is done by adding quicklime solution to the peat water. This aims to make the pH of the peat water neutral. After the quicklime solution is added, the peat water will settle in the neutralization pond for a period of time. Then, a aeration process will be carried out in the same pond, including the introduction of oxygen into the peat water by the use of an aerator. This aims to reduce the concentration of dissolved metals in the peat water. The peat water is going to continue its flow and go through coagulation process where biocoagulant will be added. The biocoagulant is made by mixing soybean powder with a 1 molar NaCl solution. Soybeans are used because of their protein content, which facilitates a reaction with NaCl, resulting in the formation of flocks that aid in particle binding in peat water. Soybeans are environmentally friendly and safe for human. Once the biocoagulant is introduced, the water will be transferred to the next pond and stirred using a flocculator. The spinning velocity is designed increase in the downstream direction, with the aim of producing large and compact flocks. The water is thereafter left undisturbed, allowing the flocks to settle naturally due to the force of gravity. The water will then flow into the filtration tank, containing a stratified arrangement of gravel, zeolite, activated carbon, and sand, to retain dissolved particles that are still in the water. After the filtration process, the water is injected with active chlorine gas as a disinfectant to kill the bacteria in the water. This peat water treatment system can clearly change peat water from unfit to fit for use. This is shown by the change in water quality to meet clean water quality standards. With peat nut, it is expected that peat water can be utilized as an alternative water supply in a safe and sustainable manner, ensuring 100% access to clean water for all levels of Indonesian society.